Hi guys, welcome back. This is Creative Dragons Not 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 and I'm sure we are making products and prototypes. And in today's video, we are going to make a robotic arm. Wait, already I have built a robotic arm which is a quite big. And in this video, we are going to make a robotic arm which is compact and fits in our table. Let's see how we can build this one. And if you want to support us, just give this video a like and just comment something about this video. Finally, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon. Only then you will be notified whenever we are uploading a new video. Now, let's get into the video. Now let's see what are the components required for this project. We need some servo motors, a count of 5. There are many varieties of servo motors available and I choose this 9 gram servo motors which will be more than enough for this project. Here with this I get some clips for attaching in the top. Now we need to choose some controllers to control all these servo motors. For this I am going to choose the Arduino Nano which is perfectly suits for this project since it's compact and has the ability to control this. First we can give a try with one servo motor. The servo motor has three pins. The brown stands for ground and red for power supply and orange for PWM which is pulse width modulation. Hook up some jumper wires and connect the brown to ground and red to positive. Finally the orange which is PWM pin to the digital pin 3. The Arduino has some digital inbuilt digital pins and we have to choose only this PWM pins. So I have chosen 3. Now it's time to attach the clip just to see the servo motor rotating. Wait a minute! We have to connect the ground of Arduino to the common ground because we are going to use an external power supply since the Arduino cannot supply huge amount of current for the servo motor. This is the power supply, my old battery charger. I have attached the male header pins. This reduces our work just by plugging in. Yeah, that's it. Now it's time to code. Insert the USB port and open our computer. Hope you didn't forget our Raspberry Pi powered computer. In this open Arduino and file examples from there search for servo. Under servo click sweep. Yes it's there. Ok sweep. Once it's opened search for servo.attach. This line of code servo dot attach yeah it's, here it is since we have chosen pin number three we have to change pin number two to three if you are choosing any other pins give it here after this is completed there is no other work for us other than uploading choose for the right port and click the upload button we have to wait a few seconds for uploading this code once it's uploaded, we can see the motor rotating from left to right and back. What? Yeah, it's uploaded. Let's see. Yeah, it's working. Now we want to connect multiple motors in the same way. We are going to connect the positive and negative in parallel and PWM pins to each PWM pin of the Arduino. 3, 5, 6, 9, 11. Now, after this, just follow the steps because there is nothing to explain enjoy the music
have converted the breadboard sketch into a perfect PCB. Now let's connect, let us connect the components and check how it's working. First insert the Arduino. And Bluetooth module. Finally, it's time to connect all the servo motors. Just plug this one by one. The circuit diagram for building this PCB is down. You can download from there. And the potentiometer is for controlling the speed of each servo motor. When the, when the pot potentiometer is low, the speed is very slow and when the potentiometer is high the speed of the motor will be increased dramatically okay now let's test how it's working oh, before that we want to upload the code this is the final code and all the code is available in the description you can download from there now we can just upload and the app for controlling this Roboticom is also available in the description. If you want to encourage us, just give this video a like and comment down how this video is. And don't forget to subscribe. Now insert back the Bluetooth h 0 module and give power supply and check how it's working. If you have any doubts, please comment it down. We are ready to help you. That's it. It's working fine. Open Bluetooth and choose HG05. 